Hello, welcome to the channel East Florida Explorer here and today I'm visiting Astor, Florida, a small town here in Volusia County right along State Road 40. Look at this beautiful oak tree here right before the St. John's River which is right over there. There's a bridge going across. Hard to see from here, but I had to stop because there are a couple historical plaques by this massive oak tree. Look at this thing. You can tell it has been here a long, long time. It is humongous. I don't know if the camera really shows how huge this thing is. I wish I could put the camera back and try to hug the tree you would see. That's got to be like eight feet across, maybe seven feet. It is massively huge. Wow. And then over here on these plaques, the first one says Volusia. Volusia on the east bank of the river St. John's is the birthplace of Volusia County and the oldest settlement. The United States courts confirmed Horatio Dexter's 1815 Spanish title and Joseph Rattenberry's 1817 title to the 17,000 acre Volusia tract, which extended from the Mayakin Indian mounds of 1558 north to Lake George. Volusia Township was survived in 1821 divided into government lots in 1834 and confirmed on the United States survey map. This majestic oak marks the center of many historic sites to the southwest, the Fort and Mission San Salvador de Mayaca of 1667. To the south, Spalding's upper store from 1763, which became Panton Leslie Indian Trading House in 1776. Also, in the vicinity during the creek, Seminole Indian War period of 1835 to 1858, were Forts Volusia, Call, Barnwell, and Columbia. Volusia Military Cemetery adjoined this site, and the Methodist Apopsical Church was built in 1845 within Fort Call's enclosure. Wow. That is really neat and I didn't even know any of this history that this was the Volusia settlement and so many forts in this area. Man, and this plaque was put here in 1978. So this oak was the center of so many things around this area, like a marker. And then here on this old plaque, and it's so weathered. Is the Deep South region William Bartram Trail. And he traced it from 1773 to 1777. William Bartram, a famed naturalist, classified flora and fauna for shipment here at Spalding's Upper Store, May and June. 1774 wow there is a lot of history in this area 
from a lot of different times too. And here's the other side. And it says exactly the same thing, even though this side is super cool looking with all the little kind of lichens or whatever these things are called growing on it. Wow. So much history in this little area from so long ago too. The 1700s, even back to the 16s. Wow, it's just insane the amount of history right here in this little area. Thanks for joining me. I just wanted to show this beautiful, humongous old oak tree and also read and see what the historical plaques say and see what happened around this area at one time. Very fascinating. Thanks for joining me once again. I'll see you guys next time.